Hi, good evening. This is Ankit Tyagi from Shashi's English Abode, and you are listening to my video on the poem Dust of Snow. This poem has been written by Robert Frost. Let's know a bit more about this poem. As you can see that this beautiful poem has been taken from the syllabus of English literature from class 10. The book is First Flight. Let's read the poem and then discuss about its theme. Dust of Snow by Robert Frost The way a crow shook down upon me The way a crow shook down on me The dust of snow from a hemlock tree Has given my heart a change of mood And saved some part of the day I had rude and saved some part of the day I had rude. So, this is the poem in which the poet says that he was standing under a hemlock tree. He was standing under the hemlock tree. And from there a crow shook down upon him some snow that he calls as dust of snow. When the crow did some this kind of act, what happened? His mood changed. And after this, some part of the day was saved because before that some part he had rude rude means wasted rude is Wasted. Let's know more about this poem. This is a very important thing that we need to know about the poet that is Robert Frost. Robert Frost, who was born on March 26 in 1874. Was an eminent poet in America. He is an American poet. Let me tell you. He is known to write short lyrics. On day to day incidents. That the humans, humans encounter with. Even though. They describe pity, petty events. Petty is very small. Useless. But the poems. Written by Robert Frost. They just express a deep meaning and leave a lasting impact on a reader. Many of other po his other poems are The Road Not Taken, Mending Walls and various others. We shall discuss about them later in some other video. But let's see this. Summary. What we, as we have seen earlier. The poet says that he was standing under a hemlock tree and the tree was snow laden, means the, snow, the tree there was snow over the tree and he was regretting, he was feeling sad somehow and the part of the day he had wasted for nothing. Just then a crew crow perched on a branch overhead. Due to this, some snow shook upon him. At the same time, his mind diverted and he began to think something different. He says that this way, 
crow saved the part of the day which he would have wasted regretting for nothing. Let's discuss about the symbolism in the poem. In this poem, or as it is called, poem, symbolism plays a major role in all the poems of Robert Frost. In this poem as well, symbolism is seen as a major ingredient in the poem. The poet deliberately uses an inauspicious bird, it means an unlucky bird, crow, a poisonous tree, hamlock, to show his pensive mood, it means a sad mood. He uses the snow deliberately. Deliberately means Jan Bujkar. He uses the snow deliberately to show the lack of excitement and joy. Not only this, the snow which the crow shakes off symbolizes shaking off the grief forcefully by thinking something different. Sometimes the grief is so intense that we can't think anything else. But here in with this poem, the poet uses an act of shaking of grief in the form of shaking of snow by a crow. Another poetic device that we need, need to discuss is the rhyme scheme of the poem. In both the stanza, the rhyme scheme is AB, AB. As in stanza 1, crows rhymes with snow and me rhymes with, the, with tree. Whereas in stanza 2, heart rhymes with part and mood rhymes with rude. You must see in the poem the way a crow shook down on me snow from a hemlock tree. Then very important Figure of a speech, alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of sound, same sounds in the same line as has given my heart and saved some part. In the first line, H is repeating, whereas in second line, S is repeating. Then comes symbolism. Symbolism is use of symbol for a poem. For some showing some important things in a poem, as we can see. Poet has used the hemlock tree, snow and crow, all of which are the symbols of coldness, ill omen and sorrow to depict his dejection, loneliness and gloom, sadness, I must say. I must highlight that he is showing his sadness, inversion also. The poet is using. In version, this figure of a speech or poetic device tells about the deviation from grammar rules. Here we can see that poet has changed the structure of sentences for rhyme. Enjambment, another figure of speech. 
enjambment is when the lines have started without using any punctuation mark it can be full stop it can be comma or any other mark but if it is not there without any between two lines then we say that enjambment has been used metaphor the poet compares snowflakes with the dust and here he says dust of snow cynic doc in through this the poet describes two entirely different things and it is unbelievable for us that how can one do this for example how can ill omen lift one's mood to happiness if something bad happens how can one become happy this is something which we can't believe hey praise by you is a boost for me so don't forget to like share and subscribe and also press the bell icon for getting further notifications thank you very much